We know that energy is in different forms like the solar energy, sound energy, heat energy, mechanical energy, chemical energy. So like this, energy is present in different forms. And now we are going to discuss about one of the most useful and most convenient form of energy to the mankind that is electric energy so before going to know about the uh, know about electricity we must have the idea of charges basically charges are available in two different forms that is having positive charge or negative charge we know that the positively charged particles are called protons and the negatively charged particles are called as electrons. These two charges basically opposite in nature but the magnitudes of these two charges is same that is the magnitude of a proton or electron it is considered as 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. So here coulombs is the unit for the charge. That means charge is measured in coulombs. And now how these two, what are the qualities of these charges? Let us try to understand. Basically these charges have some attraction or repulsion force between them. That is if we have two charges, let us suppose that is Q1 and Q2 are the two different charges. These two charges were placed apart by the distance of, let us suppose, the D distance. So the distance between Q1 and Q2 charges is D here. Now between these two charges, there may be attraction force or there may be repulsion force. This force is given by the formula F is equals to K Q1 Q2 by D square. Here F is the repulsion or attraction force between the charges and Q1 Q2 these are the two different charges. Here K is the constant and D the distance between the two charges. This formula is called as Coulomb's law. So Coulomb's law gives us the force between the two charges, either it may be attraction or it may be repulsion. And these, we know that like, like charges have a repulsion force, unlike charges have attraction force. That means if we place the proton and the proton together, there will be repulsion force between them. If we place a positive and a negative charge one closer to one another, there will be attraction force. So this, these are the few qualities of charges. And now, on the basis of this, the current has been divided into two parts. That is static electricity and current electricity. What is static electricity? Static electricity is the study of charges which are in rest and their properties. That means if we are studying about the charges at rest and the properties of them, this branch of electricity is called as static electricity. And the second one is current electricity. Current electricity means is the study of charges which are in motion and their properties. That means study of charges in motion is called current electricity. So now in this chapter we are going to discuss about the current electricity that means motion of the charges and the qualities of charges. So how the charge moves, how the charges move from one place to another place. Before going to understand this we need to, uh, we need to know about the nature of the substance. Basically, substances are divided into two types. They are conductors 
and insulators. What is a conductor? A conductor is a substance which allows electrons to move freely. That means conductors will allow the flow of electrons, flow of charge. These are all called conductors. Examples, all metals are good conductors of charge. And the second one is insulators. Insulators, what is an insulator? An insulator is that which doesn't allow the flow of charge. That means in the insulator there will be no there will be no flow of charge. It doesn't allow the flow of charge in it. So these are called insulators. Examples for insulators, wood is a good example for insulator and also rubber. So these are all the few examples for insulators. And let us try to understand how the charge flows from one point to another point in a conductor. Let us take a small wire. And this wire has two ends. That means the beginning is A and the ending with B. A and B are the ends of a wire. In the, through this wire, let us suppose some charge is moving. Q charge is moving, let us suppose. So Q charge is moving in a wire from A to B. That means it takes some time to move from A to B. Let us suppose the time is T. And now the electric current is given by the rate of charge. The rate of charge. That means electric current I. It is electric current is denoted by I. So I electric current is equals to charge upon time. That means Q by T. We know that charge is denoted by Q and time is denoted by T. So the formula is I is equals to Q by T. So this is the formula to find the current moving in a conductor. So now let us try to understand the units for electric current. We know that the formula to find electric current I is Q by T. Here Q is charge. We know that charge is measured in coulombs and time is measured in second. So by this formula we can find the units for electric current that is coulomb upon time that means second coulomb per second. This coulomb per second unit is also called as ampere. That means one ampere is equal to one coulomb per second. So what is an ampere? Ampere is another term for the unit of electric current. That means ampere or coulomb per second both are same. How can we define an ampere? Ampere is de defined by this equation. That means by using I is equals to Q by T, this equation we can define uh, ampere. <coughs> that means if in one second of time, one one coulomb of color, one coulomb of charge is moving in a conductor, that current is called as an ampere. That means one coulomb of charge is moving in one second of time. This current is called as an ampere. So these are the some basic concepts that we need to remember in current electricity. In next classes we discuss few more concepts.